get out of this easy. Right. You right. have the potential. So let's let's stretch you. Let's get you beyond your beliefs, right? Because it's your beliefs that are, are you know, hey, I'm not doing this, right? I'm I'm stopping. This is not for me. And and as you look back in your journey, you know, what, what impact has that had? That one story on your career thus far. That has been the seminal moment. So. Uh, this is why we're so like-minded because everything that you talked about, you spoke about earlier, you know, we, we talk about it, we're the leadership group about everybody has a leadership journey, whether they know it or not. Uh, you're, you're, you are on that journey, but it's up to you to be an active participant within that journey. And that has been the seminal moment for everything um, from a leadership standpoint, from professionally and even personally, how I impart wisdom to my kids, how I impart wisdom to my team, how I make sure that I'm actually being being self-aware and stretching myself kind of beyond what my, my capacity because I know that I have more capacity inside of me, right? Um, I, I had a uh, one of my former leaders, um, pastor in in, um, in Charlotte, and he said, Steve, you just you never get your, your, your PhD in leadership, even though you can go to school and get your PhD, so you just you never do. You never do. And that and that just stuck with me as well because you can always be stretched. I mean, I think both of us, you and I, are massive fans of John Maxwell. Uh, massive fans. I don't know, I think you're a certified trainer as well. Yeah. And the fact that I, I listen to his podcast all the time, but the fact that he's always learning. This guy has written I don't know how many books, and but he is constantly learning. And so for those those listeners who are out there, we start talking about stretching yourself as a leader, you are always learning. You are always you are always reading, right? You are always asking for advice and taking feedback. Because here's the other thing I've I've realized about leadership, and I think Dennis will agree with this: is that the higher you go within your leadership prowess or um, you know uh, you know career, the less feedback you receive. And so that's where you have to have that self check, that self awareness to be able to kind of check yourself or you get a get an executive coach or somebody that's going to be able to give you that feedback but as you're kind of ascending you still have to make sure that you're taking the time to um, learn grow and make sure that you're imparting wisdom not just to other people but also to yourself yeah man that's that's uh to to the listeners there's some gold that 